Using line weights. When we have the line weights tool, we can control the display of our line weights. And our dis line weights in Revit basically are numbered 1 through 16. But these line weights are shown no matter what drawing scale we're at consistently. So it's always the same line weight uh, depending regardless of what uh, our scale is. We can control these line weights. To do so, we go to our Manage tab, we go to our Settings panel, and we go to Additional Settings. And in our Additional Settings, we go to Line Weights. And we click on Line Weights, and we have three tabs. We have our Model Line Weights, so these are all the weights of our elements in our model. We also have Perspective Line Weights, and we have Annotation Line Weights. In the model line weights, each b column is a scale. So here we have, say, quarter inch equals a foot, a typical scale of a floor plan. We have our 16 different line weights. So line weight number one is three thousandths of an inch. Line weight number two is seven thousandths of an inch, etc. And we go right down the line. And so we'll use whenever, say, uh, we're on line weight 6, for example, where a quarter inch equals a foot, we're going to use uh, 30 thousandths of an inch. But when it's at a half inch, we're going to go at 35 thousandths of an inch. And if it's at eighth inch, we're going to go at 25 thousandths of an inch, etc. Now, we only have six different scales here. So if we want to add a scale, we're going to click in here and hit add, and it'll ask us what scale do you want okay so that you add a scale in and then for each of the 16 line weights you put in what line weight you want um, now in the perspectives we're gonna go down in a perspective drawing is when things taper at a distance to a vanishing point uh, in, a, in a 3d environment and uh, here we just tell it 1 through 16, the, the line weight size for 1 through 16. We don't have a scale and a perspective. Also in the annotation, when we're drawn in annotation mode, uh, and we're just, you know, uh, sketching details, etc., then we have just these 16 line weights. So you can go in and change all these line weights to any one you want here, to your own standard or company standard. Um, my two bits on it is typically these line weights tend to be a little th thicker or heavier than what uh, a lot of companies prefer. They would like to have more choices in the thinner line weights than the really thick ones. The really thick ones we don't use a whole lot. The really thin ones we tend to use. So we like to have a little more variance in the thinner line weights if anything. Um, but these are a pretty good starting point. Uh, and you can tweak them as you see fit. And uh, so these are our line weights. And again, they're found in our Manage, Settings, Additional Settings, and go down to Line Weights. And we can control our model line, perspective, and annotation line weights.